Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy, Bernie, here again, giving you another NBA update on our NBA live stream that we're going to have tonight. Um, I'm planning on doing it around 8, 830, maybe a little bit earlier if I can get off of uh, training. Obviously, we have training today for basketball, so that's kind of an exciting time for me uh, to get back into the swing of things, even though it's raining like heck here in Seattle again. Uh, wish that it was different circumstances, but it is what it is. Um, but we're actually going to be talking about a little bit of interesting things. I mean, we obviously have to talk about Steph Curry right now. He's on a roll. He's, you know, he has 92 points in the last two games. So he's obviously hearing the haters. He's, you know, we, we still, we still got to talk about this double standard thing. Cause I still think it's a viable talking point. Cause I think it is something that a lot of fans should really, should really look into, um, especially the Curry and the Warriors fans, because we know that they were in that at one point, like the biggest, like trash talking fan base in the whole entire community. I mean, it was like them and, you know, maybe the Cavs fans to a degree, but more so the Warriors fans is because they were, you know, obviously a, a young team. It was the team that they grew up with. And some of the Warriors fans can get a little bit of not uh, ob- obnoxious when it comes to like the, the way that they talk about their team. But we also have to talk about the situation at hand where the NBA is looking to expand and it's looking like it's going to happen quicker rather than it's going to happen sooner rather than later. Um, and it's looking like, according to the NBA, their numbers are estimating that $2.5 billion will be added in revenue to the NBA. Now, the question is going to be, of course, for us Seattle fans and for people that live in the Seattle area, are we going to get a basketball team relatively sooner rather than later? That's going to be the biggest question mark because we know that the NBA right now is really hurting for money. They're asking, probably going to be asking for a lot more. I mean, right now, if you guys are paying for League Pass, you're paying about like you know the same price for 10 less games. Um and I do think that that's kind of a ripoff, in my opinion, because it's like you should get, you know, a li- maybe maybe like 10, 10 or $11 off. But, you know, it is what it is at this point. You just have to deal with it. But the biggest question is going to be, along with Seattle, one, what other NBA franchise is going to come to uh, the NBA? And three, we also have to talk about this Timberwolves situation because the owner has been trying to sell the Minnesota Timberwolves for so long right now. I, I think that a lot of people are trying to get away from – Especially the, the rich owners, it just seems like there's something going on. You know, Bitcoin, and this is not to kind of go into a conspiracy theory, but we know the price of Bitcoin has gone up a little bit, and so now we know that you know a lot of these owners are trying to spend their money quick and fast. But the NBA still needs the revenue; they still need to pay their players, and you know, with the shortage, it might they might fall short of that goal. So by adding another team, by adding more revenue, you might be able to. Uh, you know, get these contracts situated and underway. But we'll see what happens, man. I think it'll be a fun and exciting time. So come tonight, uh, we're going to be talking about that stuff live on a live stream with The Charge. Anyway, guys, we'll catch you later. Peace.